open up the playpen. Ha 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 ha! We took out the baby maker and opened up the playpen. Yeah, Winnie. I couldn't stand the stink in there if I went to his lobby or his apartment. You know what I mean? Them guys are nasty. You know that, right? And black people don't take a bath. Oh my God. They got these, they get these, what they call ringworms in their head. Oh, my God. And the, talk about lice. Oh, my God. And the women are just, they, oh, God, no. I was like, I want to. Oh. They stink that bad. Oh. And their clothes are probably all just, ugh, you know. Oh. Yeah, I had one of them. We've had somebody take parts off of it since it's been sitting there. Oh. Yeah, I, they better be watching it. I catch anybody out here, I'm going to shoot them. He just bought a grill, and I, I think the grill. Is that why Ryan don't have a mom around? Alrighty, you guys, welcome back to the channel. This is about the spring run the grass, as he calls it, but that's not what it's actually called. It's called something else. Um, it's this Saturday. Stay tuned for our live stream from the event. Um, but for some reason, Barry waited almost a week and a half to give you to give the, his subs a fucking what they've got, and he calls it a parts list. What the fuck's a part? That's what you need to get. Not what you have. Just fucking dudes a retard. All right, welcome back here at Beamer and Sun Garage. Jump near the bottom. Our last video Sorry, no, was no. the Cavalcade of Customs video. Uh, and there was a he couple of stones in part one, two, and then they're finishing up. Race car. Right. And this video is going to be, we're going to go back a little bit. Uh, the video is before the Cavalcade. Fuck, Barry, you're getting uh, winded just talking. The run in the grass. And we're going to show what we got at the run in the grass uh, on that weekend. So we're going to go back about a week. Uh, well, this weekend, it was last weekend, so we're going to go a little over a week, week and a half ago. Uh, we're going to go back in time. Are we taking the time we're machine? So Are we is he driving we it? We ended up with a lot there at that spring pump, and we're out of spring, we're running the grass. I thought he was going to put on a super, I thought he was going to put on a Superman cape and red, red fucking underpants run around. Uh, hey, Barry, you got a white lab coat on? But they got the big half inch stud, uh, that fits through the hole, so... You can see how 14s? big that, that hole is. Oh, it passed right on by them. Are they 14s? Yeah, I'm judging my look on the 14s. You know, most General Motors GM products are a 716 Yeah, they're stud. 14s. No, they're 15s. And they're real small. Looks and, like. Uh, nice, nice, nice one there, Barry. I'll give you that one. These are the half inch studs. So these are, uh, you know, the hole is bigger. And I think the bolt pattern is bigger. It's for, of course, it's for a heavier car. You know, Camaros, uh, some of your other Pontiacs, what? Camaros and Pontiac yeah, now. Holes. And, uh, oh, there's our friend. You mean Firebird Barry? Yeah, you mean Trans Am? That's my Sammy kid. Fucking Sammy illiterate Girl. fuck. I think I said Sam 1 or Sam 2. Sam! That's Fucking Sam 2. Mutt. They're probably off of a Tempest. Yeah, that's not the original Sam. There's a couple Sam's around and here. But anyway, so we got these two Pontiacs. That's like your Catalina. Is a sports coupe, buddy. I think your teams, they gotta be off a big car. It's like your Catalina, your Catalina isn't a fucking sports coupe, yeah, Barry, just so you know, FYI. Holly that I just hate. And it's got dirt in it. And it's always not carrying on it's too, and causing trouble. And we picked it's up this Holly here, two plus two to be a sports and it's kind of unique. I've never seen one like this. It doesn't uh, look like a conventional Holly, but there's a list number on it right there, 2265. I've never seen one like this. I've about 300 carburetor. 
And when we, the reason we bought it was it's a rare carb. It's got the rear spread board. It's got the bigger barrels here and the small barrels here, which only fit like a GM and certain uh, dairy hey, products. Hey, that Barry, makes, uh, if they uh, still sell the it, barrels. it ain't rare. <laughs> like that, big barrels in the back and small barrels in front. So this should go right on our dumpster. Uh, Hey Barry, how many, what's the production number on that? It's probably a spacer plate on there. Is there a stock intake on it? Yeah. On there? I think there is. Yeah, it's stock as stock on. can be. So I can remove that plate and get rid of that. You put a plate on a spread board. Is a spread board plate, Barry? Two, two tires, <laughs> I'll bet it ain't. Tires I'll bet it's my real shit. We've got a carburetor for the spring run. We call it the run on the grass. And the Pontiac wheels are going to be for my... I think they're going to be on my car unless the sun buys four new tires. And the duster here... Gonna like that new car. Oh, you're gonna put them on the duster. There's that pistol grip I keep talking about. There was a uh, car on. Uh, Why the hell did you cut the car like that? It was a blue duster, a three eighteen three speed. Car. That's not a factory and he had a little car. Stick knob up here for his shifter. And of course, what I did with mine was I cut my shifter off down there at the base. My you probably see a weld. Oh, I have no doubt if you wanted it. Yeah, there you can. You can see the weld right there. There's the well right there. Yep, you didn't weld that shit. Somebody so else welded that shit. Basically, I, I cut that off oh, right there. Oh, never mind. I see it. Yep. Uh, yep, you welded that shit. And then I bought this this uh, pistol grip ship uh, shifter. This is just a, it's actually just a stick. Just a shifter stick. I bought that offline on eBay. And then I had the guy that uh, uh, that now works for me. Uh, Weld that stick. <laughs> I didn't uh, catch you weld that. I mean, then it wasn't as bad as you Hey, Mary, you got a welder on the staff now, huh? <laughs> that's what we got done on that one. And that's how we did it. Oh, you can do it too. You know, you're going to pay about a buck fifty for a pistol grip handle with a stick. I paid like $150 for that. And I, I felt lucky that I got that for that price. So. Carburetor wouldn't the a, wouldn't the pistol grip be for like a four uh, speed though? So more stuff up over on the hill over like, here. It's but about the clothes. Away and I came back and it kind of like I had stupid. I see full parts. Uh, and uh, no, the son didn't come home to help me. <laughs> you <laughs> big bitch! Home. I wish he would. Okay, there's a bumper on top of a bumper right there. I'm not a carburetor. And what we bought was he oh actually did this. God. It was in the oh garden in the grass. Oh video that he bought that oh my god and there's our existing there bumper and it's all bent it's twisted and mangled and he bought a perfectly straight one and timmy's the one buddy as a buddy of ours had it and he had it priced for twenty dollars so there's the oh, i'm sure it's perfect for 20 bucks and i've taught the son uh, i taught my boys who you know haggle with people and try to get the price you know get a better price don't pay what they ask. He was your buddy. You haggled him down. More, and then they come down on the price. You know, and that's why. I want to tell you something, Barry, right away. You and your boy, if you can't buy something off me, I'm going to tell you what the price is before you come. And if you come and try to hackle me, you're going home empty-handed and mad. Because a lot of people will put will tell you exactly before you come, hey, this is the price. Don't waste your time. And I've had people waste their time and get mad. Well, don't get mad. The price is the price. You can either like it or you can get fucked. I don't care which one. We always put, he always puts a price, man, to, to where there's some wiggle room. But once the bottom dollar is reached, that's the bottom dollar, and that's just how it is. So you trying to hackle me down for 20 bucks, I would told you to get fucked. And it's your friend at that. You know, I, I love this type of, you know, stuff that, you know, you can you know, buy stuff cheaper, you know, so. He got the bumper for 10 bucks. So. Wouldn't well, $20 have been a steal for a good bumper? Yeah, exactly. Was easier, the guy had a pair of bucket seats. And no one knew what they fit. And uh, there's a bucket of seats. I got that bucket of seats for 20 bucks. Tomorrow. And I stuck them in the Mustang because it doesn't have any seats. But they don't fit. Uh, well, I'm going to do think? some modifying to make them work. Oh, God, Barry. Yeah, I may oh, try. Fuck them I may seats not. Fuck. You know, I believe they're American motor seats. No one knew what they came out of. And there was a whole bunch of, you know, Ford and Dodge and... Uh, Chevrolet people down there, and no one knew what they fit. They must be AMC. I've never Look seen like seats like that in any other product. So you have Google. So Why wouldn't you just Google AMC seats? seats if you thought that's what, what they were? Happened? So we got the seats. Uh, we got the bumper. We got the carburetor. We got the rims. There's probably something I'm leaving out. I can't think what it is, but we come away with some good items, you know. 
I mean, do we just talk about how bad it is down there? You don't know if you want to go back because people are doing it last time. Down there. Just as we enjoyed ourselves. I'm telling you right now, anybody who's a kid like me, I'm going to let them know exactly where you're going. Yep. That is a weird chat. As a matter of fact, before we go, you've Sam talked too. to some people on camera, and I'm all more. We might actually group. walk up and talk to them. It's Samantha is what their name is, but I call them Sam. But that's what Sam, one of my Sam kittens. What up, girl? What up, girl? She just had a litter of kittens, and I let her out for a little R&R. &R. We're going to get away from the kittens. I got a lot of kittens. Uh, just recently, I've been blessed with a, a, a like a vino uh, kitten, all white, and I'm pretty happy about that. From every so. guarantee. And uh, yeah, that's what we got today. We showed uh, what some of the stuff we got. Go to a swap meet. That's what he came away with. What it was, I, you know, I unloaded it all by myself. <laughs> and uh, you know, back to the slave and grime here. You know, I got the grass I unloaded two seats, tractors. two rims, this a car right here, and a bumper. And I'm fucking spunk. Uh, you know, it's the time yeah, of the year. Yeah, bumper weighs a hundred pounds. Get weighs just what's small box Chevy. You know, if you have any grass to cut. I bought this lawn tractor. Uh, my mother was still alive about two and a half years. She ago. bought it then. Little, little, little what the hell did you get? What'd you run uh, into with it? What? What'd you? Run what'd you run into it with? John Deere. My son was like, "You don't need that, Dad." Yeah. <coughs> He's probably he fucking tired of this using his grandma. Four wheel steer, and their motto on John Deere is "Nothing runs like a deer." Well, let me tell you, I've run Craftsman lawnmowers for years. I've run other, you know, type of. Uh, you know, manufacturers, you know, and nothing, nothing rides like a John Deere. This thing dude, rides like a Cadillac. Up, dude. I don't that's know why it makes it shit. Up, you that's know, over the bumps and humps and it makes it easier. Maybe it's a seat. You know, I'm expecting to seat a little bit. There is some shocks or some springs here. All of them have that. that. Help. But when you're on this Cadillac of a mower and you hit some bumps, it doesn't hurt quite as bad. Uh, than it would like to say the crash. Hey Barry, is that got a salvage tile too? Thing, I'm, I'm oh, man, you got a spell, I mean, a little toy you put right in that seat. I'm not out there in your underwear, bud, and I bet you'd look for bumps. I'm out there to get the job done as quick as I can and get back to my life. Uh, and, you know, so <laughs> that's what I do. You know, I cut the grass and then I get it cut as fast Oh, yeah. Can. I mean, now, cut I grass, that's, that's, that's it, fucking painstaking. It. It's okay, dude. I hit a few things with it. Um, it's done some damage, but it's just sheet metal work. I could take something and straighten that out too by pouring a hammer and straighten all that right out. Yeah, you know, it doesn't really hurt the mower, just a little bit of body. Who cares, folks, that if he if he would have got a little higher, but first his leg, I mean, who gives a shit about that? Wait a minute, a you said that's four wheel steer. How is that? Four brothers, they uh, they went out of business, apparently, they had some thefts and they were in house. You got hydrostat so motors on the back or something? They ended up losing I mean, the whole uh, John Deere dealership. There's another outfit in there now, uh, running them, but we really like Never them. mind the damage it did to the vehicles that scraped uh, or hit. Yeah, my son tried to talk me out of it. I mean, I've never got this much leg, man. I mean, I wanted what I wanted. Dad, I'm you've not. seen what he has on his and fucking course, legs. You think you know, he's worried about that? The Craftsman mowers, <laughs> they're sitting over here collecting dogs. He's got a fucking dermatologist on his leg. We collaborated together, and we put a motor on this one. Collaborated this together, year, put a fucking uh, three-bolt on my Rondo, famous Rondo, he's on that video called Going Mud. Go back and check that video.